Hey everybody, this is Rich here and welcome to another tutorial here on good old YouTube. So today what I'm going to show you is how to set up dual monitors with Premiere Pro and a good way to do it with After Effects. So I have a project here, I abandoned it a long time ago. And uh, I don't like this tiny screen. And on top of the fact that, you know, I want to be able to take my timeline and uh, be able to expand it and be able to see everything. And uh, I got to keep going back and forth. By the way, you hit the uh, tilde key next to one to do that for anything. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up with uh, dual monitors. Okay, wow, this looks funky, doesn't it? I actually have uh, my screen recorder uh, getting both my monitors right now. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and forth and back. So what I'm going to do is... I want to be able to take this monitor that I have set up over here and I want to be able to display what's on this screen here. So I'm in Premiere Pro CS6 and uh, what I'm going to do is go to edit well on Windows you go to edit preferences playback and uh, here we have the video device uh, box and as you see I have two monitors set up uh, well, 1600 by 900, and I have one of them checked off, which is this one in here. So all I got to do is check that one, and just choose OK. So there we go. I kind of had to uh, minimize it a little bit and uh, bring it back so it'll recognize that there's another monitor going. And uh, so now you could see I could scrub through, and I got my final output on this side over here. So now I can actually practically get rid of this window and have space for everything else. So now all I do is uh, take my timeline here, hit the tilde key, and then I can check everything out on my timeline. And also at the same time watch what's going on over here. And here in Premiere Pro CS 5.5, and I also think it works with CS 5 as well. If you want to set up your dual monitor, all you have to do is just click down this arrow over here, which brings down this uh, pull down menu. Just go down here to playback settings you have to do it on your preview window here and then you go to external device and you click your second monitor in this case monitor right here so I'm gonna click that and choose OK and there you have it I now have it set up on my second screen as well so again whenever I need to uh, check anything out either in my uh, effects or uh, my timeline here just tilde key it good to go watch everything happen and that is that okay so here I am in After Effects CS6 and uh, I have a little project that I did a long time ago during the summer and uh, who knows this could be a future tutorial hint 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 okay so as you can see, it's kind of cramped in here. You know, I gotta raise this up. I gotta check my layers. And I gotta bring it back down. Make sure everything fits. I gotta move everything around. Blah 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 blah. blah. And uh, affect some presets over here. So I gotta move that over or shove it all the way over to the side. Oh, well, you get the point. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna come up here to workspace. I'm gonna click uh, the pull down menu here. I'm just gonna go to new workspace. I'm gonna call this one. Uh, test. So to maximize your viewing option for your viewport here, all you got to do is just click over here in the corner and then just drag it out and voila. You now have a full screen. You can just enlarge it to the size that you need. I'll just shove it in the corner there. Just make it bigger. So now it fills up the entire screen. Let's do that and do that. So now you have all this space here, and you can uh, have more space for your timeline. Since After Effects works with layers, you can have upwards to hundreds of layers. So this would be beneficial. But what I like to do um, is unfortunately get rid of some of this screen space and uh, take my effects and presets and my character brushes, all that stuff, just drag this out onto the side over here so that way I have everything I need possibly even take the RAM preview 
and maybe drop it in here as well even though I don't really need that because uh, all you got to do is hit zero for your RAM preview so that way I have my effects and presets and I still have a lot of space to work with so uh, that's one way you can do with After Effects uh, I actually plan on getting a third monitor so I'll have one just dedicated for the timeline I'll have another one probably off to the side over here dedicated to the, to the uh, effects and uh, the other one dedicated to the final output so I hope that works out and I hope my graphics card can hold it and uh, so that's it for that that's how you can set up uh, dual monitors with uh, After Effects and Premiere Pro so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time